Hey there. In this video, I am sharing with you a super simple tip that will instantly transform your live chat customer experience. By doing one simple thing, you are going to come across as more friendly, you'll foster connection, and as a bonus, you will convey empathy. No single language choice will make live chat interactions sound more friendly, establish more rapport than using personal pronouns. Yes, personal pronouns. If you switch up your language, add more personal pronouns to your sentences, the difference will be dramatic. You will be instantly seen as friendly. Now, what are personal pronouns? I'm glad you asked. Personal pronouns are words like I, me, you, we, us. We use personal pronouns all of the time in telephone conversations, face-to-face, -face, even in text messages. It's how we naturally talk. But in live chat interactions, more often than not, we fall into corporate speak and we sound too formal. I want us to be more casual, more natural, more human in our interactions. And the only thing you have to do is read your messages before you hit send and make sure you are using personal pronouns. Now in this video, I am going to give you before and after examples that illustrate how a message reads when you are more bureaucratic and how friendly it will sound when you simply add personal pronouns. All right, let's jump right into my before and after examples. Rather than because your licensing requirements weren't followed, penalties have been assessed. XYZ will not renew any license until all penalties are met and cleared. This is way too formal. Yes, it's accurate. Yes, it is quoting policy and regulation in this example, but it reads to me like something you would get certified mail. You sign for it, it comes from a law firm, and it's threatening. We don't want to come across this way in live chat. I want you to sound human. I want you to talk to your customer over chat the same way you would over the phone or if your customer was sitting right in front of you. The secret to doing that is to add personal pronouns. Now, take a look at saying the same thing, but making it less bureaucratic by adding personal pronouns. I realize it's upsetting to hear that you'll have to retake your exam and apply for a new license, particularly because you need it right now. I wish there were another way. Yet, state regulation does not let us renew licenses until you as an agent have paid all penalties. What I've done here is added personal pronouns. I, you, us. And of course, I've added some empathy. By adding personal pronouns, your live chat interactions will read the same way you would talk if you were speaking to your customer over the phone or face to face. Much less formal, a lot more friendly, casual and supportive. You will notice also that I added empathy. You want to do that in all of your chat interactions. Let's look at another example. Rather than Based on the date of the return shipment, it's too early to see the credit processed. Check the account around 17 days from the date the item reaches the shipping warehouse. Again, we've got a factual statement here, but it's way too formal. This was an actual example that I had. I was the customer over live chat with QVC. And when they 
responded to me, I was checking the status of a return. When they responded to me, the entire interaction was brilliant, it was friendly, but I really loved the empathy and the use of personal pronouns. I've circled here the part that really struck me the most significantly. Ms. Golden, and I love that the company used my name. I'm sorry the Canon camcorder hasn't been processed as of yet. I know you're anxious to have this completed. And then they explain what I can expect. The return processing time can take up to 17 days from the date an item is returned to QVC. I hope your item is processed soon. While I love that empathy and that added touch, I hope your item is processed soon. Notice all of the personal pronouns there. I, you, your, and then the empathy. And another point, and I know it's not the point of our video here, but it's a good takeaway. Anytime you can identify your customer's pain point and speak to that pain point, you are going to foster a sense of connection. Right here where I've circled, the second sentence speaks to my pain point. I know you're anxious to have this completed. And I actually was anxious to have it completed. It was a very expensive camcorder and I needed to rebuy the right camera for a vacation that I was taking. Try to identify what you think your customer is feeling. This is a bonus for you in this video. Are they, is there fear? Are they angry? Are they anxious? Are they frustrated? Whatever you think they are feeling, try to address that specifically. You do that and you add personal pronouns and you are going to come across as friendly, empathetic, and you will foster connection. I want your live chats to read exactly as you would speak to a customer over the phone or face to face. And all you have to do is switch things up, switch up your wording to include more personal pronouns and then that bonus of empathy. So go through and look for ways you can scratch out those big formal words and say more words like I, you, your, us, me, my, she. It is simple, but it is going to entirely change the perspective of your message and you will be seen as friendly. Thank you so much for sitting down with me to learn a super quick tip for making your live chats more friendly. If you like this video, if I helped you in this video, it would mean so much to me if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. Until next time.